Hey guys and gals. Hey, happy Memorial Day. Well, as you can see here in North Texas, it is a rainy, rainy Memorial Day. But hopefully this is gonna clear out of here by two or three in the afternoon and we'll have a chance to uh, actually get out and do some grilling, got some steaks marinating. I'm uh, all excited about that. But hey, thought I'd take this time to give you a review. What are we reviewing? Well, it is the Ryobi, 1.2 gallon per minute, 2300 PSI premium electric car washer. That's right. Let me tell you about this thing. So we have a need at the farm. It's so muddy. The tractor's always dirty. The Kubota, the Sidekick, the Polaris. Everything we have, even my truck when it comes back from the farm is just absolutely filthy and I need a power washer on a regular basis. The other thing, we have a swimming pool. Well, I'm cheap, so the swimming pool has cartridge filters on it and uh, I'm not going to pay a pool service to come out and clean them. So two or three times a year, you need to take those cartridges out and basically you power wash all the dirt off of those cartridges, put it back in. So for years, I had a Honda gas powered generator, generator, have one of those too, a uh, power washer. And uh, the, the problem I had though is it would never start. I'm sure it was bad gas, ethanol, lack of being used, but it was always a hassle. It was very high compression. So man, you'd have to keep one foot on the power washer, pull the cord with one hand. It was just very cumbersome and difficult to use. Uh, you'd get it where you need it and you'd connect the hose, get everything ready, and then you couldn't get it to start. So I'm done with that, man. The technology on electric tools, uh, cordless tools, and when you're working in remote areas, uh, I need stuff that works, man. So this is why I decided to go with this one. I did a lot of research. There's a lot of other YouTube videos that are outstanding, by the way. Uh, workshop Attic, I think, is one of them that just did a phenomenal review on this machine. And uh, for me, when I get ready to buy something, I don't know how you guys are, but actually researching it and doing the homework up front, it's part of the fun to me. It's almost like hunting, you know, it's the process of hunting up to the moment of when you actually get something. Well, I'm kind of the same way on this. So now, one thing I did, uh, which I'm pretty happy about. And I try to instill this in my daughters who are now both fine young women. Uh, if you want something, find a means to get it. Yeah, you know, you try to have a job which generates money to pay for stuff, but if you really want something, see if you can find a creative way to justify getting it. So a while back, we bought that 40 acres of land and there were some items on there that I wasn't using. There was an old little homemade little utility farm trailer there was like an old diesel gas tank that I didn't trust. Uh, so I put some stuff on Craigslist, man. Um, some things around the garage that I haven't used in several years. And so man, I, this week being locked down on coronavirus and everything, I just started selling stuff, man. So I'd get 50 bucks here, $75 there, 25 here. I just moved the stuff. So the first thing you know, fast forward a week later, I had my money put together to buy my Ryobi power washer. So uh, not only did I check the box on the honeydew list, uh, you know, hey, paid for itself. So you're going to see some videos coming up. I'll show you uh, the swimming pool filters need to be power washed. So as soon as the rain stops, we're going to fire this bad boy up and put it to work. But a couple of things I like about it. Look at this. It can't get any simpler, man. You got one button to turn it on. You can fill your soap dill up. When you fill your soap up, you use your uh, the blue nozzle. You also have a uh, yellow nozzle, which is a fan pattern. This is a turbo nozzle, which actually puts a jet out and rotates. And this is something I bought. If you like to clean cars oh, or a tractor or anything, this is pretty amazing. This is a foam blaster. You can see it's got the quick connect on this end. So what you do is you fill up four ounces of detergent something like dishwashing soap or all-purpose cleaner. You put another four ounces of water in there. And let me tell you what, if you've never seen a foam cannon in action, go out and check out some videos on that. I mean, it will cover a car in foam. Pretty neat. Uh, I'm excited about that. 
So you're gonna see it in action. It's got a quick connect on this end. The one thing I like is if I take it to the farm, it's got the big wheels, makes it easy to roll on the gravel driveway. 25 foot cord. It's a brushless motor. This thing should be trouble free, man. Uh, best seller at Home Depot. I think, in fact, it's their number one selling power washer they have. You know, and it's right at 300 bucks. Uh, but we'll see. I need something that works. I need something lightweight I can throw in the back of the truck, take it to the farm, bring it back to the house. Um, I intend to use this on a lot of different projects. So anyway, hey, more to follow. Hey guys. Gals, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. All right, we're back at it. So what are we doing? We're gonna do the uh, review of the Ryobi 23 PSI, 1.2 gallon per minute electric power washer. Yep, we actually got it the other day. Uh, used it to actually clean the swimming pool filters. Wish you could have seen some of this stuff we did. Uh, so I did use it on this side of my shop I had a problem. I don't have gutters on this side because of the trees. So as the water would hit, so about a foot and a half or two feet up on this brick wall, we actually had black algae. And I don't know if you can see this, but you can see where I power washed the Heritage Farms logo into the uh, concrete. So I need to come back and clean the rest of the algae and dirt off this concrete. But pretty impressed with the first job we did. So today we're gonna try an attachment uh, that I purchased to go along with the power washer on the silver bullet. You can see all the dirt and grime from the farm. It's been so muddy. Floor mats are dirty. So what are we going to use today? We're going to use a foam blaster. This is also from Ryobi. And supposedly this thing will shoot just like a foam cannon. Uh, some of the reviews and things I've seen on it, it'll just absolutely cover that vehicle in foam, uh, let it sit, and then we can power wash it off. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to finish the review and the update. Uh, so far, I've been pretty happy with it. One thing I didn't like was the turbo nozzle seems to jam up. A little disappointing for a brand new uh, tool that, you know, one of the fittings or one of the hoses doesn't work. But hey, we're going to try it out. We'll see what we think. But so far, I've been pretty impressed with the uh, performance. A couple of things I did order on Amazon was I ordered a swivel kit for the end of the hose uh, at the gun and also for the connection to the motor. And uh, it's a quick connect because right now you got to screw these on and sometimes they're hard to get started. Uh, a little hard on the hands. The plastic's not very user friendly. So I got quick connect swivels. So what that allows is it'll keep your hose from kinking and getting twisted because it'll rotate on this end. It'll also rotate at the handle end. So uh, pretty happy about that. It'll also will allow you to set up much quicker. And uh, once again, we plan on using this a lot at the farm and also at the corporate offices here. So, uh, all right, so we're gonna get uh, started with this process here very shortly. So uh, sit tight, we'll set the camera up and uh, we'll power wash the silver bullet. More info to follow. Right, guys there you see the Ryobi foam cannon in action my only complaint so far with this was I filled this up and I mean I barely had enough foam to do this one vehicle so uh, a little disappointed on how quickly it went through the foam maybe I need to play with the amount of uh, pressure I have here because you have an on off switch for the foam cannon I had it in the full position but so far you can see it did what it was supposed to do and threw some foam on there so now we're going to sit back and power wash it, get the, boat, get the soap off, and see what happens. Thanks, guys.
All right, guys, there you go. Well, I have to tell you, I was not overly impressed with the Ryobi Foam Blaster. It did a pretty good job of putting foam out there, but I tell you what, that full container lasted literally less than like a minute and a half. It just shot the foam out that quick. So to foam a vehicle properly and take your time, you're probably gonna need like uh, two of those. So a little disappointing that it didn't last longer. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this Ryobi unit. Uh, for the most part, it does what it's supposed to do. It only came with two nozzles. You had a yellow one, which is a 15 degree pattern. You had the blue one, which is for soap, and then you had the turbo nozzle. So let's recap. The turbo nozzle doesn't work. It doesn't rotate. The 15 degree one has got a problem. It actually sprays a random pattern. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the unit. I think for the money, it's pretty good. I've got to make some improvement. I've got to get some better nozzles. Uh, I'm going to put a swivel right here at the base of that hose. I'm going to put a swivel right here at this. I'm going to get a 50 foot hose because this 25 foot hose wouldn't even reach around uh, the silver bullet. So uh, mixed opinions, but uh, hey, you know what? I think at the end of the day, a couple of minor upgrades, I can turn this into a pretty decent electric power washer. Never gonna be as good as a gas, but you know what? It's a little bit more reliable and we'll see what happens. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment. What do you guys have for a uh, power washer? Let me know. Hey, have a great day. Glory be to God.